Hey, it's Susan, and today we're going to talk about dibblers, specifically this wheel dibbler made by Two Bad Cats. So you have a few different options when it comes to um, making holes, which we can call dibbling, on a small scale urban farm like ours. Um, obviously, God gave us fingers and you can definitely get in there and make a hole with your fingers. That is a great option, um, but sometimes, you know, you can move pretty fast with your fingers. Um, the other option is a handheld dibbler like this one, which gives you a nice option to poke. I like to jiggle around a little bit sometimes and come up. This leaves a really nice deep hole, so if you have deep plugs, um, you can, definitely I can go a lot farther with this than with my fingers. And if I'm planting something that I want a little deeper, like maybe an onion, um, this is a great option. The other one I want to talk to you about today is this wheel dibbler. All the little dibbles are here on the wheels, and this pops into the ground, and you just roll it across, to make your holes in the ground. Now the neat thing about a wheel dibbler is that it's fully adjustable. So it has all these little numbers on the inside here. Let me see if I can, there I'll turn it this way so the numbers are the right way. Um, all the little numbers and so you can choose three inch spacing which is what it's set for right now. All the little dibbles here are on the threes or you can move them to the fours for four inch spacing, or obviously you can do the math. And if you do every other three, then you're gonna get six inch spacing. Every other four would be eight inch spacing and so on. You can even just do one dibble. And I think it's, no, it's two dibbles is a full foot. One dibble is every other foot. Now my main quibble with a wheel dibbler like this is that it takes time to adjust. So if you're doing a whole bunch of rows in one day or even trying to get done in a couple hours, basically you have to unscrew every single little dibble, remove the screw, move it to wherever you want it on the wheel, and then screw it back in. So if I was doing rows with different spacing, like today, I'm gonna to be planting bare root strawberries and onions. Um, I'm gonna to have to change this out in order to get the right spacing that I want. The only other quibble I have with this one, as opposed to the hand dibbler, where I can go nice and deep, is these are not as deep as I'd like them to be. Um, they're good for marking things and for small plugs, um, but sometimes I have to go a little bit deeper than this. So this is great for making sure my spacings are right, when I want to put things in at a good spacing. And I'll definitely use this three inch spacing today when I put in my onions. Um, but, you know, I probably might have to go a little bit deeper. So I might use this to measure out my three inch spacings and then come through with either my fingers or the hand dibble to make it a little deeper. The other issue with this is if your soil is really dry, you're not gonna get a good dibble. and. I'll kind of bring this down and show you what I mean here. So this guy has to set into the ground and then he rolls along like this and it has a nice handle for doing that but as you go if your soil is too dry your holes are just going to fill right in. So it just rained last night so my holes whoop, are looking pretty good there with that um, but if it was dry they'd fill right in and and nobody wants that because then it's really defeating the purpose and it's not working so i'll show you how these work and and you can decide for yourself whether or not it's a good tool investment for you